it going you guys new age here with episode 13 of our live Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire battle spot battles series and our current record is 16 wins 19 losses and a happy and howdy do fine Merry Christmas to you all hope you guys are enjoying it hope you guys are getting the coolest of the cool presents and uh, I hope I hope I hope damn everyone invite me to do everything and I hope that uh you guys you guys just enjoy your day um I was going to uh I was just gonna work out whenever I had a chance to record today uh so I woke up this morning I went to bed at like four because I was finishing Christmas stuff and I woke up this morning and I was like so when we doing presents le family and uh my mom was like, yeah, I went to bed super late too, so whenever I happen to wake up, and I was like, sweet, that should mean that I'll have a little bit of time to record, so I was like, hey, I'm going to do that right now. So instead of opening my presents, I'm here recording for you guys, because, you know, y'all just can't wait. Be patient for one second, damn. So this is what we're bringing. We are bringing a Trevenant again, because I can't help it. I love Trevenant. It's not even like, it's not even a Pokemon that's like so good to where it just overpowers everything. It's just a Pokemon that if you're not ready for it, well, you best watch out. And uh, we've got a Quagsire, because I was like, sure. A Choice Scarf, Jirachi, a Mega Heracross, the Baton Passing Scolipede, and a Mega Camera. Mega Camera Up is mostly for Talonflame, because if I see Talonflame, I'm not bringing Heracross and Scolipede. So that's not happening. Um, but I would like to get my baton passing into a Heracross on. Oh. Are they updated? Wait, whoa, 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 no. Wait, what? says there was a Pokemon unable to participate. Hello? Um, it might be Jirachi, I guess, if they don't let you use certain legendaries. I didn't know about that. I was going by tiers, but they just go by legendaries. True that. Well, damn. I was relying on that for, uh, I don't know, like Gengar or something. It's got the Zen head, but... Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me see, let me see. I don't know why Metagross couldn't go. Or whoever couldn't go from there. My Steely team. I'll have to look into that. Oh! Choice Scarf Chandelure. Sure, let's do that. Always gotta have yourself a Choice Scarf Pokemon. Mmm. That's right. Random matchup. Writing battle. Uh, sure. And hopefully this works. Oh, what's up? But it does give me a second to let you guys know. Uh, I have gotten a few presents that I've already used and all that good stuff. What the hell? Who was unable to participate? Um, I have gotten a few presents and stuff uh, that I've already opened up. Just because they were given to me by people who I wouldn't be seeing today. Or just like hey Christmas Eve all that good stuff um, so that's what's up with that and I think Heracross can't be used hello for whatever reason um, that's okay though because I got the choice banded uh, I can't bring a choice band though come on now bring bringing the choice scarf is already too much damn um, you know what? Hmm. I got you. Glalie with the explosion. Okay. Um. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So one of the presents that I did get already was a uh, a face cam or a webcam. I'm what whatever you want to call it. So that being said, uh. Y'all, 
who show up at the stream on Friday will uh, be able to see my face and I don't know what in the hell is going on here I think I'll just like edit all of this out no nah, I don't I don't like editing out things because I like talking to you guys but I will be back when I can figure out what the hell is going on and then I'll tell you what I was gonna tell you and we'll get into the battles and all that good stuff so I'll be right back Alright, so we went ahead and found ourselves a battle. Uh, I switched out camera for Mainetric. Mostly, uh, I didn't know what was going on, but it had to have been, uh, it had to have been Battle Spot because I couldn't find a raiding battle and then I went to free battle with this exact same team and it was like, okay, so there, there must not have been anything wrong. It just wasn't working for me for whatever reason so we're in free battle today I guess and we are going up against actually hold up let me get this going we are going up against a slacking Zoroark Umbreon uh, Wobbuffet uh, Routes and a Blaziken so Zoroark is definitely going to be an issue um, hmm Ghost and Fighting is what hits the Rourke, which is unfortunate because those are both like similar types. Plus, the Rourke could get flamethrower, so I can't really go out with a Glalie. I think my Netric would be good to bring this time around. He's got a lot of physical attackers, and then the ones that aren't don't really attack. Uh, Routes will be good to bring for, uh, or Trevenant will be good to bring for Routes. And I think I'll bring Chandelure because of the shadow tag. I don't know if I want to start out. I think I'm going to start out with Manetric just because it has Volt Switch so I can get out even if I am shadow tagged. And my other two Pokemon aren't affected by shadow tag. And Volt Switch or uh, Manetric will let me get Intimidate off. So that'll be nice. So I think that's good. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I got a face cam. So come Friday, I post the thing on Twitter. I was like, hey, if you guys could get me up to 130 subs by Friday, I'm going to use this face cam. And I was at 129 when I said that, so, uh, two lucky people, well, no, not lucky, two, <laughs> two, uh, I don't know, generous people, I guess we could say, uh, decided, actually, this thing was probably going for a miracle, I should have realized that. Uh, they decided to subscribe to the channel, so we're good to go. Come Friday, face cam, and, uh, Twitch stream, be there. And it's gonna go down. It's gonna be some good times. So that kind of did a lot, which sucks. Um, honestly, I'd rather lose Chandelure if I had to lose somebody. I don't know if I'm gonna be losing, like, straight up. I mean, Mirror Code is obviously the play to make. So it does end up taking me out. Um, of course, I had to switch into that one because that's the one that, you know, was going to go down like that. So here, um, I'm just going to go for Leech Seed. And I don't care if he encores me because he's going to die eventually. So, And I can switch out. Oh, wow. It missed. Mirror Code, really? Like, am I about to go for that again? No, nah, I'm going for Leaf Seed, bro. So hopefully this plays out well. I think I keep thinking this would be awesome to get three wins and even up the score. So uh, we'll see if we could get that going. Because that would be just dandy. Um, I don't know what to go for now. I'm not about to go for, like, a physical move. I'm just going to go for Will-O-Wisp. Uh just to because I can't attack because he's going to go for counter and rest won't do anything right now and I don't want to waste my leech seeds because I only have 8 of them so I'll just go for another will-o-wisp um, and I think next turn I'll start uh, using leech seed in case he wants to switch because like if he doesn't want to lose Wobbuffet or something And I think, actually, does counter even affect me? Like, if I'm a ghost type? 
Uh, Shadow Claw has to kill it from this range, so I'm just gonna go for Shadow Claw. I was just a little afraid because Wobbuffet is like, you know, as defensive as it is. Ooh, I was still scared. I was like, what the hell? Oh, Rocky Helmet, okay. So Wobbuffet down, no sweat. Um, Safeguard wore off, so that's awesome. There's a lot of Pokemon out here that I'm kind of... I think I'm kind of cool with. Slacking? I don't really know how well I could take a hit. Honestly? I feel like I need Trevenant more. So, I'm gonna switch into Manatric, get the Intimidate off, and then... Probably Volt Switch on the turn when it's not attacking. But I'll know by its moveset whether it's Manatric or, uh... Zoroark. Fire Punch. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna stand and hit it with the Discharge. Cause it's gotta rest one turn anyways, its attack went down. Um, and if it is a Rourke, this will do a lot more. Alright, so it is actually slacking, which is awesome because uh, it looks like it did about half. So another discharge should take it out. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. So now we've got one Pokemon left. we still got Trevenant ready to go. And uh, seems like some good times about to go down. Hopefully. Hopefully. So Umbreon is the last Pokemon. Um, I'm just gonna throw off discharges. Maybe not till I go down because this thing can wish. Uh, but a paralysis would be nice because it can't synchronize it with me. Cause uh, I'm an electric type son. <clears throat> All right. So um, and it has leftovers. Okay. So. I probably would have been better off going for a burn, but I'm still going to get Leech Seed off on it anyways. So, I am going to go out now into Trevenant. Um, foul play shouldn't do too much, and I don't really know what other dark move it gets, other than like Fane Attack and stuff, which are all weaker than foul play. So, so it does go for the Wish. Um, it can use Protect or whatever it wants to do. Um, this is going to get fairly stally. I'll have to rely on paralysis a lot, but I can get a Lee Seed off, so that's good. So that'll help. That'll help. That'll help me start to wear it down. So it does go for the toxic, which uh, unfortunately, that, that just ain't gonna fly. I, I actually would have been better off burning it. I more just wanted to pra uh, paralyze just cause. Um... Because it would have built up the damage. So this is about to get really stalling. I might even just like pause it. <laughs> and wait. Because this is. Definitely. Definitely going to take a while. I'll have to rely on a lot of paralysis. Some crits. Some other things. That I don't even know. But it's, it's going to be a while. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I already spent like 5 minutes of the video trying to figure out a team so or what was wrong with battle spot that's what it was honestly so yeah I'll, I'll get I'll get back to you guys you don't gotta worry I'll get back to you at the end let you know how it went I think I got it it tried to use I hit it with the overheat cuz it used foul play and it actually did a lot so I kept switching out my Netric to get intimidate off and then I sent out Manetric just to hit it with the overheat and then basically die to Umbreon because I was faster than uh, Umbreon since it's paralyzed so I was able to start uh, using rest so I could heal basically foul play to hit KO me uh, if, with Trevenant so I would have to rest every other turn so I was trying to switch Manetric get in out and get Intimidates off and I sent out Manetric to die here and I was like, let me just fire off an overheat before I die. I used overheat. It did a lot. And then Umbreon ended up being paralyzed. And I was like, what? So I'm going to go for another overheat. And it actually ended up going first, but then still being paralyzed, confirming that its last move is protect. And uh, I ended up hitting him with the overheat. Obviously, it didn't kill because it lowered my attack. Um, and... This is where we're at now, and he's...
paralyzed three turns in a row. That's what I'm talking about. That's the luck. That's the luck. He was not paralyzed the entire time. No sweat. And then right now, three turns in a row, paralyzed. Who? <laughs> so that's going to be a win for us for the first battle. Oh, uh, that was... Mm, 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 mm. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> I, I would have been so mad if that happened. Honestly, granted Umbreon was strong enough to two-hit KO me, unless they got a crit, they I don't think they wouldn't they would have been able to outstall me using foul play. Eventually they would have just had like no moves. And Wish doesn't have that that much uh, PP either. So I would have only gone to like a certain point, you know? Battle? says James. Alright. What the hell? Oh, he's got a Keldeo. Jealous. So we're going up against uh, Glade, Fortress, Gudra, Keldeo, Jirachi, and Groudon. So his team is a little unorthodox. I guess I could say. Um, Solar Beam is definitely a thing I'm afraid of. I'm going to have to bring a lot just to take out Groudon because my team is fairly weak to Groudon. If it was just ground, it wouldn't be, but since it's ground and fire, that covers a lot of my team. Quagsire, I definitely want to bring. Trevenant, I might actually not bring. I want to bring Glalie, too. That handles Gudra, but not much else. I think I'll... Mm, I don't want to bring all special attackers. Because that's not good for Gudra. But I might have to. Because Trevenant and Glalie can't really be in this battle. So, Manetric, Chandelure, Quagsire. I'll have to figure out who I'm starting with. I guess I'll start with Manetric. Uh, once again, because I can get an Intimidate off. And then I can also uh, get my speed up to where it's supposed to be. And Volt Switch if I have to. So... Granted, Manetric is not the best choice when he's got a ground on running around, but it'll definitely make it so I have a better chance to uh, beat and outspeed some of his Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about this. I can get an Intimidate off. I don't know if I'll be faster. I think I'll Volt Switch into Chandelure, because I really don't want... Alright, so I Mega Evolve first, so that means I'm faster. I know after I Mega Evolve, I'm faster. I'm pretty sure. Then Mega Glalie, anyways. Um, is he not Mega Evolving? Yeah, he is Mega Evolving, okay. So, I will be faster, for sure. So, I can Volt Switch, go out into Chandelure, not be affected by a close combat, which I'm hoping is what he's going for. And then afterwards, uh, just fire off a Shadow Ball at this thing and hopefully take it out. I'm hoping he's not going for like a knockoff or something. Let me see if I can make some proper predictions. Oh, damn, he went for Zen Headbutt. Okay, that... Oh yeah, he was intimidated, so that didn't do as much as uh, it could have. So that's good. <clears throat> Choice Scarf Shootout Speed? Yeah. I know Chandelure isn't that fast. Like, these Megas have been so fast lately, I don't even know anymore. So that does take care of the Glade, so that's nice. Um, could have Groudon. Primal Groudon, yep. Um, if that's the case, basically all I was going to do is just let Chandelure die. Because I don't have anything to hit it with for super effective damage anyways. Since it's ground and fire, Energy Ball won't do anything. So... Oh, communication error. Okay, whatever. That's cool. I guess we'll be right back when we get another battle. Alright, so we got another battle. Um, I don't see why people leave like that. Especially him. He, he was good to win. So, here we go. We're going up against Mewtwo, Rayquaza, Lugia, Sylveon, uh, Dusclops, Dusclops, <laughs> Trevenant, and uh, Infernape. 
Ugh. Well, actually, Chandelure does a pretty good number on on most of his Pokemon. So I definitely have to bring that. Trevenant can do just as well, too. Um, but I think I'm better off bringing Quagsire, honestly. And then I need something to handle all these legendaries. I guess Glalie, but Glalie, I don't really want to put up against uh, Sylveon if I have to. I don't really want to start with Glalie either, because I'll have to save it for Mega Rayquaza. I'm just gonna start off, start off with Chandelure. It hits a lot of his team. So I guess. I don't know if I want to bring Quagsire. Like, Quagsire is good against maybe Rayquaza and then Infernape. But Trevenant, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that out. I, I got to bring Trevenant. The ability to burn, uh, not being hit super effective by Psychic, and not being able to be hit by fighting moves is definitely uh, something I think is worth doing. So I started off with uh, Chandelure, which is awesome because he can't burn me. He could leech seed me if he wants, and I don't think a Shadow Claw will kill me. And I will be faster. I could go for Dark Pulse, actually, if I wanted to. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'll go for some flinches because a lot of his team is also weak to Dark. Because I don't think Shadow Ball is going to one-shot this thing anyways. So if I could get a flinch, that would be amazing. Come on. Chandelure, you got this. Damn it. So it used Phantom Force. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. I... Mm, I kind of want to go into Glalie to take that, honestly. Um, and then hit it with the Ice Shard next turn. I'm sure I can take it. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is having health left to handle the rest of his team. Wow, that did a lot. Alright, come on. Let's get some Moody. Special Defense up. Accuracy fell. Ooh, that's going to be scary. Okay, um, I should have speed, kind of just want to go for headbutt, because I can't, I can't use protect, because if he uses phantom force, that's going to hit me through protect next turn, so it should take it out, there you go, so Trevenant's gone, uh, Glalie did take more damage than I wanted to, this is going to get a little sketchy, with all the legendaries running around. Infernape is not something I want to deal with either. You know what? I'm going to go for Protect. Um, just because I don't want to get hit by Fake Out, if that's what he's trying to do. Oh, it goes straight for Fire Punch. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Chandelure has Flash Fire. Chandelure should wall Infernape like crazy. So I'm just going to there's no reason to let Glalie die just yet. Because I do have the explosion that's going to be insanely strong. So there's there's no reason. No reason at all. So now my fire type moves are stronger. So that's cool. Um, but I'm still I'm still just going to go for a shadow ball. I don't know if this thing has like earthquake or what. But it does have earthquake. So that probably is taking me out unfortunately. Um, let me see. Is is Infernape faster than Mega Glalie? That's what I want to know. Or do you think Ice Shard can kill? Is also a question. So let's see, let's see. Glalie, where are you at? So Glalie, your speed in your Mega is 100. Damn it. 
pretty sure Infernape is like just above 100. No, not Piplup. Infernape. Yep, 108. Damn. He's, he's... Part of me feels like his Pokemon aren't even EV trained. He resists this times four, like... I feel like his Pokemon aren't EV trained though. Because none of his Pokemon had items. Should I just go for it? Oh, I got eight... Alright, I'm gonna go for Protect just to buy myself some time real quick. I'm gonna do this. I gotta do it. I gotta do the... The damage calcs. I gotta do it. Where am I? There you go. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm just gonna edit this out. You're gonna see a bunch of black screening. Because I went to go open up the damage calc and it like took up the whole screen and I hate when things come up on the whole screen like that so for time's sake I guess Mega Glalie Infernape oh wow they have every move on here except Ice Shard come on Ice Shard 13 to 16 percent oh no 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 <gasps> okay you guys didn't see that but I ran out of time and it went for protect and I got the second protect off is I shard gonna kill oh no it doesn't kill you lied that was not 13 percent Damn, I was gonna say I got so lucky too. I got so lucky. Eh. Trevenant might die. I got a second protect off. You know what? I don't even care if I lose now. That was so insanely lucky. I gotta start paying more attention to the time. Wow. I I wish there there was part of me that went for headbutt. Because I feel like I would have outsped. I really do, which sucks. But I mean, I'm assuming he had Rayquaza left, which I wasn't going to outspeed Rayquaza. I mean, if his Pokemon weren't EV trained, I probably would have, honestly. Damn, that sucks. Well, at least we're doing our uh, standard two wins, one losses. Right, right. That's the plan still. That's the plan. Oh, damn. If only that would have been beautiful. Okay, so last we are going up against a Metagross, Swampert, Lopunny, Shiftry, Altaria, and Kecleon. So let's see. What handles, like, all these Pokemon? Chandelure, I think, still does a pretty good job. Actually, Chandelure hits everything. Outside of like Altaria. And I guess Kecleon, but I'm honestly not too worried about Kecleon. I'll also bring Trevenant and Glalie because that hits Altaria. Yeah, I'll do that. Actually, Quagsire might be good at walling all of his potential Megas, other like Low Pony, Swampert, and Metagross. I think I am going to bring Quagsire. Mm, I do need something for Altaria though. Chandelure, Quagsire, and I feel like there's just too many threats for Glalie to be safe here. I'm I'm gonna have to bring Trevenant. Um, I will start off with Quagsire too. So I don't have any Megas. I don't have a Pokemon with Intimidate, and I don't have anything to handle the grass types outside of a uh, Chandelure. So, 
hopefully, hopefully, this is going to get sketchy. Damage calculator telling me that I shard does 16. Oh, that's Skype popping up. Well, that's cool. More stuff to black out, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, he's starting off with the uh, Swampert, which uh, I'm pretty sure Quagsire beats Swampert like 1v1. Especially because I have leftovers. And if he's Mega and doesn't, I should be able to take a hit just fine. So they actually withdraw. So they're sending something out to get the Toxic, and it's going to be Shiftry. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yo. Stop. Stop. Stop with the Skype. Like, not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Alright. Alright. So we do end up hitting it with the Toxic. Um, I don't know what he's got as far as like dark moves go. Because Trevenant doesn't really want to switch out into this thing. Please don't go for knockoff. If he goes for knockoff, that's just going to mess up my entire thing. See, that's this is why I wanted to bring Glalie, because it hits Shiftry and Altaria, the last two Pokemon that my team doesn't cover. So, I'm going to have to do what I can. And he gets a crit. Well, I mean, Leaf Blade is a high crit move, so. Okay. So, he can switch into Swampert, too, so that sucks. Because that's just going to turn into a whole big thing. I am going to go for Heat Wave, though. Either way, if it wants to switch, fine. I could still try and fish for a burn, which would be amazing. Alright, let's see that burn. Ooh, that does a lot. So we don't get a burn, unfortunately. Um, so I am just going to go back out into Quagsire. Uh, if he wants to pull like a double switch, I think I'll go into Trevenant this time around. Keep switching it up, I guess. Trevenant has like nothing though to hit Shiftry. So uh, we are going to take that rather well. Um, I think I will just stay in and go for like a Scald. Because more damage on the Shiftry, whatever gets it to die sooner, you know? Uh, eventually I will end up like double switching. Wait. Oh yeah, he switched. Never mind. So of course that doesn't do anything. Um, but it does give us more leftovers recovery. So that's nice. Um, and then we can switch out the next turn. So I am going to go out into Trevenant. Um, that doesn't work so well for me. If this thing has knockoff, that'll be really bad. Because then I can't even get my berry back. It actually goes for the extra sensory. So. In this situation I'm in right now, he can use a knockoff. He can use a dark move. He's pretty set. So, hmm. I really just want to go for rest. So it switches into who? Altaria. Okay. So this thing has to have a, a fire type move, I'm assuming. But the good news is, I know I can take that. So, I'm not too worried, honestly. And I could get Leech Seed off on Altaria. I'm assuming they don't have knockoff then if they switched out. Because they had no fear of being burned because they were already poisoned. So, I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed for now and get that going. It really hit me with Sing. I have a Lumberry too. Come on. Alright, Trevenant. Thank you. I didn't know whether or not I got it back, but I did, so I woke up, so Sing doesn't even matter. So he is running some rather unconventional sets. Uh, I just realized that too, his Shiftry had extra sensory, so it was physical and special. Uh, so I think now I'm just going to go for like Will-O-Wisp, maybe catch him in a Swampert. I doubt he'd go into Swampert, but 
So he does keep going for Sing, but... I mean, honestly, that's just making him lose health. Because I can get my berry back, I can wake up, and I still get Leech Seed health. So... I am pretty good to go. Gotta admit. I don't think they'll switch. Because they don't want to go into Swampert thinking I have a grass move. Because they don't know what I have yet. And then Shiftry apparently doesn't have a move for me. So. Come on now. We got this. I do need to get that Lumberry back though. So Altaria used Fly. Okay. Uh, I think at this point, hopefully I can get a uh, harvest off and wake up, because then I'm just going to switch out into a Quagsire. Okay, nope. Because um, I would like to burn it, especially if it's a physical attacker. That'll just help me out. I'm not going to poison it. I'm just going to stay in, eat up this fly, get leftovers recovery, and get... Uh, get the leech seeds so I think here I am gonna double switch into Trevenant um, he might switch into Shiftry or he might go for a sing again but regardless um, if he doesn't have knockoff then Shiftry is good so let's see what happens because I could basically just stay in every turn and try and wake up yep Alright, or get my Lumberry back. It's not even where I have to waste a turn waking up. I can just try and get my Lumberry back. So I'm going to go for a Willowist here. In case they're trying to go for like Roost or something. Come on now, Trevenant. I need you to wake up, bro. So Altaria went for Moonblast. Uh, I should take that just fine. Yeah, okay. So Trevenant actually wakes up. And we get the Will-O-Wisp off. So this Altaria is going down. No sweats. And I think now... Well, no. I have to wait. I wanted to switch into Swamp or, or uh, Quagsire and get that set up. But if this thing is just like spamming sleep, I don't really have that as an option. <laughs> How does this thing land sings non-stop? That's ridiculous. I mean, it's still dying this turn to a Leech Seed and Burn, but whatever. Damn, that's crazy. This thing literally hit every single thing it used. That was like the worst accuracy in the game. So down goes the Altaria. Now we get the Berry back and we're going to wake up, so that's cool. <clears throat> and we'll see... Uh, We'll see what's waiting for me on the other side. So they do end up uh, going out into Shiftry. And I don't really, I mean, I'm assuming I'm safe now that I've seen, I haven't, still haven't seen his full move moveset. So it has Faint Attack, um, which that sucks. Oh, that was a crit? <clears throat> Can we get a crit? Yeah! <laughs> um, so hopefully it'll do less. I think I'll just switch out. I don't want to switch out into Quagsire because I can't have them predict that. If anything, it's fine for Trevenant to go down now. Uh, if Faint Attack does end up killing. Oh! We survived with one! Hello! Today's the luckiest day of my life. <laughs> on battle spot anyways so uh, we are going to survive with one get the rest off and shiftry will be going down uh, this turn yes so now all that we've got left to worry about is the uh, swampert which we got three pokemon to handle that all three of my pokemon handle swampert so that's going to be a good game so we did once again get the two wins one loss I wanted three wins but uh this is still good this is still good 
and it goes for takedown which uh, is not going to affect me so that's cool uh, so that's going to bring our current record to 18 wins 20 losses so we're only two behind now slowly making our way to the top and uh, this thing is just gonna you know get nice and wore down so that's good and the match was forfeited so we did win so it's gonna be a good game it's gonna be a good episode and it's gonna be a good day all around so if you enjoyed the copious amounts of luck that we've had today go ahead leave a like and if you want to see more you can subscribe to my channel new h2 where i upload multiple videos every single day and you can also follow me on instagram twitter and facebook where i post first hand information on when i upload videos to the channel so until then i'm new h2 keep on watching and i'll see you guys next time